What's going on, guys? And welcome to episode seven of our Arcane Watch Party. Thanks so much for joining me, guys, throughout this series. Whether you guys have seen the episodes over here on YouTube or you've been hanging out seeing the uncut full versions over on Patreon, thank you guys so much for the love and support in this series. I'm really excited about season two, and at the time of recording this video, we are just a little over a week away, so I'm really trying to, to make the final push to finish this series. We have only three episodes left and a lot of questions and exciting stuff that I feel like is yet to come. So I'm excited to see how everything kind of plays out and hopefully we'll get to that in the next couple of uh, days. Be on the lookout for a lot of spam as I attempt to get these episodes up for you guys uh, over the next couple days, right before the launch of season two of Arcane. But yeah, this show has thoroughly impressed me and it's been so fun to be able to watch and, and share in that experience with you guys. So if you guys do mind dropping a like on this video, it really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new here. And again, if you wanna see the full uncut version of this episode all you got to do is drop a link uh, i'll drop a link at the bottom of this video to my patreon you guys can come and hang out over there uh it's a good time without further ado guys i hope you brought the snacks as we jump into episode seven of arcane man i told y'all there was a new faction like just had a feeling there was a different player And who the big ears is that? What the hell? You shy or just ugly? Both. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Is it someone we already have seen? You look good for a dead girl. Oh, is that the kid? Is that the kid from way back when? Holy hell, dude! Echo. What do you know about this? Nothing. Echo. Her name is Powder, and I just found her when you and your goons showed up. It's me, Vi. Same person who used to take you down to the junk heap and hose you down when you got covered in grease. That was a long time ago. Damn, dude. Yeah, I'm getting that. Are you working for Silco? You. I, I thought you were dead. Now you show up with a Pilty and give her a tour of the lanes? You were following us. Why didn't you say something? No, oh, that was who was... So... That was who was following them at the beginning of last episode. Gee, I wonder who I learned that from. Oh, well, you should have learned more. You still punch like a little boy. And you still block with your face. Damn. I remember when you wouldn't stand up to me. I missed you, little man. Damn, she got out of those. She got out of those cuffs quick. This is down. Enforcers are searching anyone who crosses the bridge. Following my orders, preventing Vi and Caden from returning. Or he's finally flipped. Maybe a little bit of both. The Ken Baron scheduled an assembly. I wonder if her arm's gonna work still. But let's just say I didn't always see eye to eye with my old man. She'll come to you when she's ready. So that, yeah, that'll be interesting if she ends up going back, teaming up with, with him again. Oh, I forgot she got stabbed. I didn't lose her. They took her. She cares about the enforcer. She was there for me. Not the enforcer. So why would I remember her? Dude, she's losing it. Well, she's just some stupid topsider. Yeah. Damn, did she just staple her leg? Holy hell, dude. What the hell is wrong with this girl? She legit just stapled her leg. 
Man, it's still crazy that Echo is back. I'm still unsure how much time has passed since episode three. It feels like years. It's the place. If a single seed can make it down here, so could we. Silco flooded the lanes with shimmer. He didn't care what it did to people. Everyone here was an addict or a victim. Damn. They needed some more safe to start again. I should have been there for you, for everyone. It's a good way to drive yourself crazy. So when she got taken, she really got arrested and put in prison. I did not realize that. Changed. Powder's gone by. All that's left is Jinx, and she belongs to. You're wrong. Code. She's still in there. Maybe not as much as she thinks. One thing to show you. Is she about to show the body count? Oh, dude, how many people are... This is everything we've lost. The price of our freedom. Damn. Your sister works for him not because she has to, but because she wants to. I'm sorry, but that's who she is now. Somehow she's going to refuse to accept that. It's still crazy to think about. Like, she willingly works for Silco. Now the board is closing. We're bleeding money, and for what? His dreams of rebellion. Is he losing control? Who the hell is that? We should be. Ever since your son's top five, profits have been plummeting. Oh, these are like the drug lords of the Undercity? You're all wondering, are you? Well, I say we should cut a deal and give back the gemstone. Better to have some trade than none at all. He's like, nah, I'm not giving up a damn thing. <laughs> Rumor is, you dogs are for leash. How are you meant to bring Toto over to here if you can't handle your own people? Huh? Why do I feel like he's going to kill them all? Oh my god, he is. What's that? <laughs> oh, you don't recognize it. He's going to kill them all. Came from the mines they have us in. Damn. Purpose. But you've grown fat and complacent. Too much time. Damn, is he gonna let him die? Dude, that's so cold blooded. That is why we fight. Do you remember? And what makes him dangerous is that he's just so smart and kind of ruthless. Don't forget again. Damn, dude. That's actually kind of crazy. Good meeting. Damn, dude, is she gonna kill him? And guess what? They're not all dead. I can explain. Don't Damn! Marcus never told me she was in Stillwater. But you found out she came back. <gasps> I wanted to protect you. From what? She and the Enforcer are back for the crystal. Nah, that's Cap. Forgotten how she left you. Who found you? Who cared for you? Give you a home? I am your family. Damn, dude, he's such a manipulator. Now more than ever. You have to complete the weapon. <laughs> Damn, and then dipped. Oh, is this the same bridge that we see Vi on at the beginning of the show, right? The very first episode, the bridge her parents were killed on. Don't 
get yourself killed. I promise you. Damn, they're splitting up. It's been real, Cupcake. Thanks for everything. Oh no. It's just a goodbye home. She wouldn't do that. Dude, she is losing it. But you gotta give it to Vi. That's that's a real play. Going back to save her sister. Oh no. Silco's behind everything. Show me. No, don't show him. She's like my damn orb. What? Dude, that's cold blooded. Damn. What's with the bugs though? There's gotta be some, something involved with that, right? There's gotta be something with this. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Was that Jinx? Oh, holy. Or is that someone else? The Riddler? Joker? I don't know. Damn, dude. Holy hell. Damn, it looks like they're not going to tell her anything. I'm not going to say homie didn't have it coming, but, you know. And she took her orb back. <laughs> Holy hell, dude. She says, stop playing with me. Echo versus Jinx? Go! Dude, that's got to be a wake-up call for Vi. Like, your sister literally just tried to end you. Oh, look who it is. The boy savior. Dude, that's cold-blooded. Damn, dude. Holy hell. Dude, that fight was wild. They didn't they didn't need to go that hard with the animation though. I mean, and it kind of playing out the way that it did. The clock was very symbolic in, in that scene, obviously. Wow, holy moly, guys. That that was that was a very, very intense episode. And and as someone that really just wants to see Jinx and Vi come together and have a conversation, every episode that we've seen, especially those, you know, that has Jinx involved, it, it seems that Jinx is, is definitely, you know, potentially too far gone. And, you know, while there is potentially still hope that she could return to her normal self, and, you know, it just feels like mentally she's just been so broken she's so fractured that you know vi may end up having to be the person to take her out that that's that's kind of the reality that i'm seeing ultimately kind of become the the 
the the best option at this point. I don't know. And with Vi having to kind of leave her behind once again, I feel like that only cements that reality even further. So it's going to be really interesting to see how the how the story between those two characters progresses and, you know, whether or not Vi will actually be able to break through to her younger sister in, in an effort to kind of save her in a way. Uh, but I feel like we've seen this before in other shows or movies or uh, I think there's a couple games that I played where you kind of see this where the, the best way to save a character is sometimes, you know, to, to like in that character, save them from themselves kind of thing. So I don't know. We'll see how it all kind of plays out. But that was a really great episode. Really interesting stuff happened. And, and I'm excited to see kind of how it plays out in the final two episodes. It's crazy thing. We only have two episodes left and I'm going to do my best to get these episodes up to you guys as quickly as possible. As far as this one, though, if you do enjoy this episode, if you thought it was good uh, and you want to see the full version, uh, drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new here, all that good YouTube stuff, and check out my Patreon. I'll put a link to that at the bottom of this video if you want to see the full uncut version of Arcane Episode 7. I'm going to head into Episode 8 and start watching that with you guys. Until then, I hope you're safe. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.